Greetings, everyone. This is a uh, way off, and uh, firstly, I'd like to apologize for not having a uh, video up in the last few days. I honestly haven't found much to talk about currently. Mainly, uh, I have not been playing World of Tanks at all, and I've been focusing on the uh, War Thunder contest. But uh, today is going to be a slightly more chatty video in reply to uh, a video posted by the Mighty Jingles concerning bombers in War Thunder and the latest patch changes. The full uh, video will be uh, linked in the description below, but in summary, Jingles mainly speaks about uh, bomber changes in uh, patch 1.37 and how culmination of changes to how bombers play have led to a new and rather disappointing tactic of essentially ending the game within two minutes of its starting by either bombing out the uh, enemy base in one or two passes or by um, napping all the strategic targets really quickly. And uh, to start with, he's not wrong. That happens a lot. Um, I really did not see it that often because I think in lower tiers, you didn't, uh, a lot. there weren't as many bombers that possessed the sort of payloads to knock out bases really quickly. I mean, it still happened, but it'd take a while. And I first noticed it when uh, going up to do one of the opening missions for our gift aircraft, where uh, the only bomber I really had available to do the mission was a uh, PE-2. So I jumped into a Tier 3 game, and every time I played, it may have been my team, it may have been the opposing team, but there would be like four Euro 2s that would just fly down the field and knock the base out in uh, you know, one pass with that many year twos, especially if they have their fully upgraded payload. And yeah, that was not very fun. <laughs> it left me trying to struggle to get air kills in a dive bomber that I did not have the uh, any upgrades for at all. And that was my first taste of it. And since then, I've seen it much more frequently, especially when I'm up in tier three, where of course the year two is. And really, it's kind of the pr primary culprit because its payload is ridiculous. And it's uh, ridiculously focused, too, um, from what I've seen of very, uh, possibly small amount of very, very large bombs. And it's a lot easier to hit a static target with a lot of damage up front with one very gigantic bomb than it is to try and get an entire cluster of smaller ones on it, after all. The second part, too, that uh, Jingles mentions is the fact that really most fighters don't want to deal with bomber interception. Not high-altitude bomber interception. They're much more happy uh, playing down low and getting more points. I mean, it's true. It's not rewarding, not relatively speaking. When you can, you know, you can chase down and um, shoot down one or two bombers and save the game from just dying out on you, while everyone else can has the potential to get like eleven kills. And yeah, do you do you want to take the fall for your team? And most of the time, no one wants to take the fall for the team. They expect everyone else to do it for him. So, yeah, he has a lot of very valid points. Uh, and I agree with him, and I don't know what to do about this situation, honestly. And it's a weird place, because I I like making these videos sometimes and um, saying, you know, this is a problem, but what could we do to fix it? And, like, having a suggestion. And I really don't have one this time. Now, Jingles proposes uh, po like more balanced changes. Um, I believe uh, reducing the impact of strategic bases as far as the ticket counter goes. And I agree with that. I think they are probably worth a little too much. It's kind of sad to see it go that way in a way because it allowed for these very interesting come-from-behind victories, but that was at low tier. And at high tier, it's it's not usually a thing because the game's over so rapidly. And maybe some people like quicker games, but I can't say I'm one of them. I was kind of happier with the longer uh, longer play times. I do like sometimes the fact that Matchmaker will uh, throw like a seven v seven in there or something like that instead of the larger games. That's that's a nice change of pace. I can deal with that, but I I don't know. Overall, I'm not happy with you know the ticket counter getting nuked off the face of the earth or bases getting nuked off the face of the earth. Uh, but it's kind of a sticky place because if you keep looking to the mechanics 
and nerfing and tweaking mechanics. I mean, you have to tweak mechanics. It's part of developing games like this, but you can kind of fall into the situation where you just keep overcompensating. And that may be kind of what happened here. Or it might have been a case that people just, uh, Gaijin underestimated the ability of people to abuse things as much as they do. Which, honestly, that's something they are, uh, they have a tendency of doing. So, I, I guess for the moment, I, I'm not so ready for nerfs as much as I'm kind of waiting to see what might happen with the community. And maybe more people will get the hint. And I know it's a long shot. I, I'm more than aware that uh, hoping for communities to be positive and change things is kind of a long shot on the internet. But I don't want to see a, a uh, seesaw battle in patches and tweaks trying to balance something where I feel like there's a large part where the community could be more responsible for it. I mean... Jingles talks about intercepting bombers, and he does his role. He goes out there and does it, and he does make a point. You know, this is not a good system if the uh, fighters uphold their end of the bargain and they still lose. And that definitely happens. And a lot of the time, too, though, the fighters don't uphold their end of the bargain because they're too busy having fun downstairs. <laughs> they they want those low altitude engagements. They're much more thrilling. They offer much more money because you can get many more kills. I mean, he's absolutely right. Why a lot of people aren't going to want to do that? It's it's not uh, for those who thrive on efficiency. It's not very efficient for your playtime. And for those who want to do fun, is it really that fun to climb up to uh, you know three thousand, four thousand meters? to intercept one guy while flying in a series of possibly straight lines, possibly curved lines. I mean, if that's people's idea of fun, then they're usually in historical or full real, and they're not usually in arcade. So, yeah. Overall, I kind of want to see what the community does with it for a bit longer. Um, maybe they'll get the message before, the, you know, the tweak slash... Um, nerf hammer strikes again because I'm afraid that it'll be an overcompensation which uh, is possibly what this bomber all these bomber changes were now at the end of the video I would like to address something I brought up earlier which was about the uh, the gifts from War Thunder and uh, you know in my previous uh, video I did I was kind of hard on Gaijin about it because we'd just gotten through the closed beta contest stuff and it looked like they're going to do the same thing all over. Well, as I'm sure most people will have seen, they did lower the requirement for the contest down to where uh, it might have been more feasible for a lot of people. You know, you only need to do 10 out of 17. And that is a nice change. I do appreciate that they did that. I gave up on the forums ages ago. So what response they put down there is not one that I'll ever know, and I don't have the patience to read, to be honest. But, uh, you know, it was good on them to change that and make it more accessible to people, especially if they're trying to offer this as an all-inclusive thing. Is it still, is it a gift yet? No, but I didn't expect that to change. I am more just pleased that it looks like they took some criticism from a lot of people, and they, like, made a positive change. So... That is it for today. Uh, I will be back when there's something interesting to do. I have to admit, War Th um, I am playing War Thunder for the missions right now, mainly, and I can't stand World of Tanks currently. It's it's frustrated me to the point of wanting to chuck my keyboard at things, and I like my keyboard, and I like my window, and I like everything else that I might possibly break by throwing my keyboard. So, until next time, have fun out there, and I'll see you around.